Hello friends, it's Prajal Patak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel Pai Guru. Friends, in the last video we discussed about how can we add images as background and as a turtle object in our canvas. Okay. Moving further in this video, we are going to learn about how can we write text on our screen. So actually it's very pretty easy. So before learning it, let's first import our turtle module. So import turtle. And you have to do one more thing. Oops, sorry. You have to add a line here turtle dot done okay we know that in sublime text 3 you have to add this uh, line so that our final window should uh, uh, should be stopped okay so if i now run this you will see actually uh, a window appears here okay now if you remove this line this window will just appear and go off immediately okay so i don't want this i don't i i want this window to be stopped okay so writing a text on um, turtle screen is actually very easy let's create a turtle object first turtle dot turtle and now if i run this you will see a small arrow at the center of the screen see this is the arrow and its name is t okay so you can change its color uh, t dot color suppose i want the font to be of green color so i will simply pass green here you will now see the uh, arrow changes to green color okay and now we have a method in uh, turtle module that helps us to write and text on a screen that is the write method to use this you have to first name your turtle object my turtle object name is t so i will type t then the write method inside the write method the first value will be what you want to write on the, on the text that you want to write on the screen see so the first value is suppose i want to write hello so i'll simply pass hello here now see uh, hello will be written on the screen see the for now the font size is actually very small so what if uh, you can also increase it by this way see we have a named argument here which is font you have to uh, pass this for uh, use this font value okay font uh, argument and it takes a tuple of three values okay see font takes a tuple of three values font name font size and font type okay font name can be any uh, valid name supported by windows for example i am for now writing courier okay it's a supported font now my i want my font size to be of 30 pixels okay so i pass 30 and font type will be either normal bold or italic you can pass any of the three values so i'll suppose if i want to pass italic uh, pass it as a string otherwise it will throw error okay and see yep and now if i run, if i now run this see uh, we have uh, written, see here we have hello written here with the font uh, name is uh, sorry font style is courier and font size is 30 degrees and font type is italic okay you can pass it as bold to make the font bold okay uh, there are more uh, families of fonts that you can use like times new roman arial uh, whatever uh, fonts that are supported by windows you can use it here okay also you can do one thing uh, just cut this uh, tuple okay sorry cut this tuple and let's create a style variable and pass this tuple in this style variable okay now we'll simply use style here so this is a more better way uh, to store the tuple in a variable and this pass this variable to this font argument okay now you can also align the font either using uh, you can pass three values left center right suppose if i want to pass center so uh, our font will be aligned at the center see our font is aligned at the center uh, you can see there's a little arrow here which sometimes you might might want to remove so what can you do you can simply uh, use a method called hide turtle method i'm using it now if you run this you will see the arrow will be gone see the arrow will be gone arrow is gone and let's increase some font size let's make it 60. see we have increased this font size of the hello okay and we have aligned it to center you can pass left to see what happens when you pass it left it will be aligned uh, to the left c okay uh, actually it's it, it might look like uh, it's working the opposite left is working like right and right is working like left okay but it's actually not happening it's working fine uh, actually we our card in our canvas is divided in four parts uh, which we ha i have already talked in so i'm not going to d explain it here okay and then finally one more argument is allowed uh, be behind font and align that is move okay move move is actually used to make underline so by default it's false so if you make it true you'll see an underline will appear okay see oops first we have to center make it center 
actually uh, oops sorry it's working fine what i have done here is c to make c now it's working fine okay hello and you have to make it true uh, if you make the move argument true there will be a uh, underline be, um, below the text okay now suppose you want the uh, red color text so you will simply pass red in the turtle t dot color method see now our font is in red color you can pass black whatever color you want okay black and see it's now in black color brown color whatever colors i have already discussed about the supported colors in uh, filling colors in shapes video so uh, uh, you can check that video to know the color supported colors in turtle okay so now suppose uh, you want to move this text at the upper uh, end okay so what can you do simply use t dot pen up okay t dot pen down sorry t dot go to uh, suppose i want to move it move to uh, 0 comma 200 pixels okay so i use simply passing 0 to comma 200 and t dot pen down okay so if i now run this you will see uh, hello here written okay so this is how you can make the turtle move to uh, different parts of the screen and then you can write your uh, content okay so whatever you want to write you can write it using the right method once again you have to use the right method inside right method there are three arguments which in which you can use a uh, font method font uh, argument align argument and move argument okay font align a uh, font argument takes three values a tuple of three values the first one is font name and then font size and then the font type which can take normal bold italic the align argument takes three values left center right and the move argument takes either true or false by default is false if you want the underline you can make it true to make an underline okay and finally if you want to uh, hide the turtle that is the arrow uh, below the text you can just simply call the t dot hide turtle method okay so this is how you can write uh, text in the uh, turtle okay so this is it guys for this video in the next video we'll be learning how can we play music in windows using turtle okay so see you there hope it helped you so if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video